Hey Aries, welcome or well, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kay. We're gonna be doing something different. It's not really different, it's just gonna be this week's reading for you. Okay, so take what resonates with the rest. We're gonna be finding out what you need to know right now. So yeah. Make these messages as clear as possible in the first Spirit guys, what does Aries need to know right now? What does Aries need to know right now? What does Aries need to know right now? We have adversity. The bottom of the deck, we have failure. So I feel like um, something could have came up and you didn't realize it. Like, how can I say it? Something could have came up that you knew was going to come up, but it was. It, it's like you wasn't fully prepared for that situation, Um, I would say. And then we got the moon card being here. Something could have happened in secret or unexpectedly. And it's like maybe you, you, you could be feeling like you could have been more prepared for that particular situation. Take what um, resonates. Well, like I said, you just, I don't know, you wasn't ready for something. But we're going to get some more information with these cards. What does, what does Aries need to know right now? What does Aries need to know right now? We have the Queen of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Nine of Cups. What does Aries need to know right now? We have the Queen of Wands. There's a lot of different energies. What does Aries need to know right now? We have the Four of Cups. What does Aries need to know right now? Then we have the Six of Cups being here. The overall energy is the Page of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Swords, the Hierophant. We also have the Hangman being here. I don't, this is, it seems like it's a love thing and it has multiple people in the situation. It could be, a, well, clearly a fire sign, but we have fire energy. We have earth energy. We also have air energy here. So I feel like um, what you need to know right now, Aries, is that I feel like you have been a little bit cold or detached. Remove yourself away from somebody that you felt like was your person. That's going to be for who it needs to be for it doesn't have to be that i feel like you are tired of repetitive cycles i feel like if you have a person that may have been like stepping out of the connection or doing shit they don't got no business doing it could have been with the same person repeatedly or if it's not the same person it's like the same type of energy or if it's not the same type of energy it's a person that looks a particular type of way they may not look like how you look so let's say that you plus size or um like you you could be plus size but the person that they are talking to is really skinny or you're really skinny the person's plus size you get what i'm saying so we have something like that going on. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Horrifying. We also have the Hangman being here. And I feel like you holding on to the situation, okay? Because you're trying to... I feel like you're trying to hold on to a person that could be a divine counterpart or you and this person could have children or a child take what resonates or it's like you guys started so much with one another. Child, I don't know. This is crazy. This is crazy. We have the Page of Swords as the overall energy for this reading. So I feel like what you need to know right now I feel like maybe somebody from a distance could be watching you. I don't know if you are divorced. You could be divorced. You could be coming out of a long-term relationship. Take what resonates. <laughs> Something could have popped up in your, um, your, um, your situation or your connection. And that's making you feel like, how can I say it? Like cold detached. You could be focusing more on your finances or your mental stability. Okay? Like you have the look. Like I feel like um, I also get a sense that Somebody from your past could be coming back around. This looks like a whole other story. Somebody from your past could be coming back around or somebody could be watching you as you look more attractive or you look more, you know, you could be very nonchalant. You could be very drawn to yourself energetically. And with you not really putting your any your effort into anybody or anything, I feel like somebody is like more focused on you because you're not putting your time and energy or effort into a particular situation. So that's making somebody miss you or want you. Some of y'all are very much focusing on like you have detached yourself from a lot of different things to focus on your inner child or whatever makes you happy what i mean by inner child if you don't know what that means i know you're probably like what the fuck for some of y'all inner child is like um what makes you happy like you know like if you still wear watch cartoons or you watch or you do something that's really nostalgic and it makes you feel like oh wow like i haven't done that in a while well i haven't you know i haven't felt like this in a while <laughs> let's see what else we got make these messages as clear as possible universe spirit spirit guys what else does aries need to know right now We have friendship. You could have a friend or someone around you that could be jealous, honestly. What does Aries need to know right now? We have strength. What does Aries need to know right now? 
and we also have boundaries so and we also have at the bottom of the deck we have new beginnings so new things could be coming or you could be um thinking about starting something new take what resonates and i also get a sense that um with some of the bonds that you have you have to strengthen some of the bonds that you have around the people that you hang around okay We have to set firmer boundaries. So we're going to find out what's next in love. I'm not going to stay too long on that topic. And then we're going to do individual zodiac signs. Okay. What's next in love for Aries? Make these messages as clear as possible. First pair of spirit guys. What's next in love for Aries? No, this is not what I want to do first. What's next in love for Aries? Bro, we have someone else. At the bottom of the deck, we do have intimacy, all right? So maybe the person that you want to be intimate with or the person that you have been reminiscing about or you've been thinking about is um in a relationship with somebody else or there's a third-party situation, take what resonates. I'm going to get a couple of these cards. What's next in love for Aries? Let go of control issues. What's next in love for Aries? Heart-to-heart -heart conversation getting to know each other at the bottom of the deck we have children so this could be the person that you have children with or a child with take what resonates um, <laughs> um again i'm going to pull for each zodiac sign you know individual ones to see like how they feel individually about you but aries i feel like what's next to love is you may be finding out that somebody's in a third party situation or you know uh the person like i said the person that you could be reminiscing about or someone that could be trying to get back into your life or something like that there is a third party there's someone else in the picture but let go of control issue heart to heart conversation getting to know each other i feel like if you were to let go of the fact that maybe you could be uh holding on to to what this person used to be or how they yeah how they used to be and stuff like that and actually hold on to what is being shown to you right in your face i feel like um you really know everything that you need to know. You get what I'm saying? Like, you will understand exactly why this person was moving or is moving, like, how... You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. If, especially, especially if you haven't spoken to this person in a while. Okay? So, let's see what we got. How does Aries feel about Aries? So, we have the... um. <clears throat> we have the Queen of Swords and the Ten of <clears throat> Excuse me. We have the um the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords. How Aries feels about you is that you could be very much cold detached. Like you could be happy or single, like away from this person. How does Taurus feel about Aries? How does Taurus feel about Aries? How does Taurus feel about Aries? That you got one up on them. This is the Five of Swords being here. <laughs> you got one up on the ass. For sure, for sure. And you left them you left them alone, okay? And it could be, like, chaotic between you and this Taurus. How does Gemini feel about Aries? That somebody lied or was deceptive or had a false mask in this situation, okay? We have the three of wands. This person could be waiting for you to hit them up or respond or hit out. Um, hit, hit him out. Give him talk. Hit him up. How does Cancer feel about Aries? How does Cancer feel about Aries? Kids want to have sex with the Ace of Wands being here. They may want to be, be intimate. Okay, they want to start something over because maybe with the Three of Swords being at the bottom of the deck, there could have been some type of ending or closure. We doing Leo. How does Leo feel about Aries? We have the Knight of Cups and we also have the Four of Cups. This person may want to apologize because I feel like they're not entertained with the stuff that they have going on with them. Okay? So they want to reach back out to you. How does Virgo feel about Aries? heartbroken devastated maybe i'm walking away we have the two of cups being here they want to reach out they want to speak how does Libra feel about aries page of wands the lovers communication with the page of wands being here so libra wants to communicate want to reach out to you or they want to um they may want to they want to start something new or something like that maybe just have a good time with you Deep in the bond in some way, shape, shape or form, this, you may think of this person like as a twin flame. Or maybe you guys, like, um, if you guys smoke or something like that, you guys smoke together. Or maybe bonfire, something with fire. Or the um, relationship could be very passionate. How do Scorpios feel about Aries? 
they have emotions that they want to express. We also have the hermit being here, but they're not going to do it. How does Sagittarius feel about Aries? How does Sagittarius feel about Aries? We have the... We have the Eight of Wands, the Magician card. This person wants to communicate, but I feel like they are manifesting you hitting them up first. How does Capricorn feel about Aries? Depressed, anxious, Queen of Swords, because you could be very cold, detached to this person, detached from this person. How does Aries, how does um, Aquarius feel about Aries? How does Aquarius feel about Aries? How does Aquarius feel about Aries? They're changing their mind about the situation, okay? Because we have the two of cups being here, maybe wanting to reach out, speak to you. How does Pisces feel about Aries? Patiently waiting, temperance, the world card. This is in themselves to kind of work on themselves. But yeah, that's what I have for y'all. I hope that it resonated. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys later. Peace, babies.